Alright, alright guys, got filibuster here. My Total War Attila, Age of Charlemagne, Legendary Kingdom of the Avars campaign, episode 10. Hopefully we can uh, take a good bit of uh, Italy here. Though we have a massive fight incoming. It's gonna get crazy. Um, let's see, I don't suppose they've... Great, all that? Yeah. Oh, this is the, uh... It's upgrading the ranged units. Okay. Oh. So I believe... I'm gonna attack with my... My main army... Or my Factionaries army here, and then my Zealak, yep, and then my Second Sons. So we're gonna get these guys into position, probably lead with the, uh, with the Factionaire. This is, they're gonna fall back, I think. But if they decide to fight, it's going to be one hell of a fight. One of a kind of high ground advantage. Shit. <laughs> going to print screen this. It's the first battle that I've had in a while. It's really looked enticing. It's going to be a whole lot of just... A whole lot of shit. Actually, I wonder if my... This is my faction heir, but I wonder if my second son. I'm trying to think if he's in that one. Because I'm still not sure exactly how it prioritizes reinforcements. I'm thinking maybe it brings, you know, the top top down from each. You know, in a row, like one, two, three, four, five, six, you know. But this is going to be a hell of a slugfest here. I'm not really sure. I feel like their terrain isn't, or their terrain indicators aren't a very good idea. I think it's a pretty steep hill. But then again, I've thought that, and it's been like completely flat, which is like a little bump. So I think the lighter the colors, the uh, higher it is. And like dark. Like this looks a lot lighter than this. Start deployment. Yeah, see, there's like no. Yeah, so I don't understand that shit. go big ass long line until we figure out what's going on here. Just take these guys on the left flank. Get these guys in the trees. See I like I hope that these are my guys. Cause they've still got reinforcements coming too. Let's see. Now I'm like over there. Okay. Okay. So here are my reinforcement sections. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm gonna definitely try to combine my forces before I make any big plays here. Need to get. Make sure we have all of our generals. Oh, this is gonna be sweet. I'm gonna have four general units right here. Come from over here. I might need to actually just make this my right flank. I think this might be the length of my extended line. these guys up a bit. Push 
push these guys out to the flank a bit more. Do we have any other... We don't have any other regular cavalry units, so it's definitely going to be a... Not really playing these guys to the horse master um, degree, but... I mean, sieges don't really... Don't really make for good use of horses, to be honest. We've got our second line forming here. Jeez, we actually have our generals up a little too far again. Let's try to do some organization here. Can I move two at a time now? We got elite spearmen. and know something about this, although I might make a Reddit thread about it, but let me know. Let's so get our shit all organized. Where do our... I guess they're all concentrated over here, so we'll kind of refocus them even further on the left flank. So we can get around the side and use our missile weapons there. So I recently found out that you only have to click Control G when highlighting units to still be able to spread them out. So that is just like the fucking tits McGee right there. I kind of start oh, start not being a scrub when it comes to army um, control. So, I mean, just by sheer numbers, I think, I feel like we should have this. We're going to try to converge on them as quickly as possible. And then try to get these guys out to the flank. Maybe, yeah, we'll just form a line right here. Wait, do these guys not have a group anymore? Huh. Oh, this guy's still going. Yeah, definitely like... <laughs> definitely just a management issue here. Holy crap. This is insane. So are they firing at us? I wonder if they're going to be within catapult range here soon. Maybe I should try to get to them before they are in catapult range. Okay. Actually, we'll just have a huge screen. Crazy. This is absolutely crazy. I'm gonna cause trouble with my uh, my horses here while my army gets into position. Run by. Oh, so we can't even see up there. This is 
what all my shit looks like though. Just legions marching forward. Oh, they are definitely coming at me. Just need our center to hold for the left flank to go. Enemy units have rallied and returned to the battle. We have discovered the enemy's hidden Breaking through our center. Not good, not good, not good. We need to accelerate the push a little bit here. Go after them, lads. Nice, nice, nice. Hit those Gestalt Swordsmen. Need to shore up our line though. They've done a better job engaging me than I have of them. go. Send our general to get rid of their range units. Disengage, disengage. We're gonna have to nail them with some range fire here. Troops coming. I feel like so. It's only a bit limited to forty, huh? So we kind of each broke through each other's left flank. But why do they still have a shitload more cavalry coming? It's my question. Go back into the fray. Okay, boys, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. 
Need to get rid of all these goddamn archers. Go, 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 go. Nice. Okay, go, go, go. Back to the center, back to the center. Actually, get out of there. Get out of there, dude. Come on, you don't want to be engaged with them. Shit, fuck. Cocksucker. Charge that guy. You little motherfuckers. You didn't run. Oh, decimation, though. I've got more guys coming in. Oh, I have... I have a reinforcement unit, apparently. Right? Okay, who's there? Who's there? We bring our generals back in with everything else. So only lost one general. I think they've only lost one as well. Need to reform, definitely need to reform though. Shit, and I'm getting bowmen? Man, I don't want no bowmen. over here. I'm the one attacking them, which means I have to go after their cavalry. Oh my god. <laughs> this battle, folks, this battle. I wonder if I can coax them, coax them in. Just a boatload of Got fresh troops though. Come at me, bros. So let's go freaking. We should be tearing them up right now. Don't necessarily want to use my generals because I've already lost one. But I mean, I was kind of to be expected at some point. Such a big fight. They're just, they're kind of trying to move their guys up. Fast forward a bit until they make an actual move. See if we can catch some of this. Death. Hmm. Setting the trees on fire. They are... All my units back out oh, this fight. 44 minutes though, that's. I mean, I guess I'm not really gonna ever run up against that. I could. Look at these Gustald swordsmen. Yeah, I don't use melee anymore though. Jeez, full another two stacks. Bring them on in. Bring them on in. They should have their reinforcements, though, more than just that. I guess they only had three armies? So maybe that's all they have. Keep going after these guys. We'll just give it a little bit more time. Get some more troops up here. Actually, we could probably go meet. Probably go meet over here. Approach from this angle. So let's see. We want all of our bowmen. Actually, we'll not use our injured bowmen. The 
They're gonna be group eight, apparently. They're gonna meet over here. Okay, then I want all of my full health spearmen to form the initial line. Shit. To be grouped together. Form the reserve. Get our generals over here. Let's see who's left. Oh, shit. We've got our elite units again. They're going to serve as our flanking force. And a couple of... Oh, right. We've got our... Injured bowmen. Who coincidentally also be a flanking force. So get into position. I guess we're kind of like, you know, when you're waiting for the computer at the start. To like finally, you know, move at you. I mean, that's, I guess that's what I'm doing here. It's being... Being, uh... Respectful of the opponent's capabilities, I guess, I guess is the best way to put it. Try to sneak up on these guys. Take out their uh, catapult. Disrupt their lines a little bit. Oh no, I'm just gonna get annihilated. It's fine, we weren't gonna use those last two anyway. Okay, time to. Uh, time to go. Definitely want to run. Oh, those tribesmen are just absolute decimation right there. Just finish them off, put them out of their misery. Whew. There it is. There it is. Close victory, I think not. Seventy five hundred or seventy, yeah, seventy five hundred. 5,000. I definitely lost a lot of forces. But to be fair, that was an even fight when I lost those forces. Which is something I need to keep in mind. I guess I, I thought the troops reinforced a bit quicker than they did. So, the Lombards... 11%, that's it? I've been playing too much Mercia. Oh my god. Only 678 ransom too. We can't take care of all those people actually. Sorry. Duty calls. Oh no, was that the... Whew. My dog.
That is something I need to keep in mind. Did she get rejected? No, you go you go earn that man's hand in marriage. Oh, I guess I didn't put it in. What? Rating. Oh my god. What are these guys? Roman rebels? We... The theme of Sicily? Icon? Alright, folks. That was crazy. Now it's time to mop them up. I'm gonna try to use my faction air and Kuradak and Elac It's right here to do as much as the cleanup as possible. Well, that just won't do right there. Might actually get two siege equipment things out of that though, so it's gonna be clutch. Um, let's merge. Spearman just ouch. Gosh, not gonna Actually we'll level these guys up, that might give us a bit of an advantage here. Um what do we want to do for this guy's force here? Let's get it let's give it some positive morale and some missile missile units there. Ah, that's where we got those horse masters. See, we need to make sure to get these in the in the fights here. I'm actually going to ensure that reality by giving them to Elac. Okay, we'll take that. So give him all the good units. Before you guys scream, you know. You Playing favorites with your son, I'd say yes, of course I am. Um, this is an army right here. God, I might just have to fight another battle. This is some heavy swordsmen though. Alright, let's chill one more time. We will bring up the reinforcements here. Although it is sad that I need to do this in order to kill a goddamn rebel army. Wow, so this is, this is just another fight that I have to fight, I suppose. Let's do it. Four heavy cavalry, I was looking at least like heavy cavalry. And they're. I think I'm gonna have to expose as few as my troops in a f or units in a front as possible against their front. Because I don't know how I'm gonna be able to. I mean, I guess I gotta. So I gotta take out their siege machines, first of all. Yes, I do want the fog. So I gotta take out their siege machines first of all. That requires baiting their troops up a little bit. So I can get in behind. I think these will be the ones for that flank. These will be the ones for this flank. So we'll just control group those two to get back around. We will have our other cavalry here kind of needling in to see where's the range. Yeah. So this is my general's army here, so I'm not gonna definitely expose him to any combat. 
Um, going to make sure that I have two columns here. I've got my archers up front. Keep my general far behind. Pretty sure that they can't see me yet. So I'm gonna bring them all the way back. Good news! Additional forces have arrived! Where do they arrive from though? Okay. That'll do. Wonder how far over I need to go so I can still stay hidden. Wow. So we definitely have a shitload of forces here. I'm not sure why it's only giving me a 50-50 chance. Reorganizing, but I don't think they see. Yeah, they don't even see these guys over here either, do they? Let's keep getting around them then. Okay, it's a general. These are more bowmen, and that's my other general. So I'm actually going to put these over with control group three. Oh, double clicked. Do they see these guys? Oh, they do see them, don't they? that we have here. We can start moving them forward. I think we're right outside the catapult range. These guys right outside the catapult range. Troops forward. Seven, eight. I did not make them. So it looks like they're forming a small center as well. Should just be able to advance and get their uh, send my kamikazes in. Fire arrows. Gonna bring my actual line in to engage their general and try to kill them. Maybe only bring them over like that. You guys. Shit, shit, shit. Four. Yeah, you guys definitely need to move up. Uh, there's six. Can we get at least get one shot off? Little 
step system here. Try to get their general. Start forming our line according to where they're pushing. Better not be. Nice. Just flank around them easily. Conquer. Hey, come on now, guys. Not the smartest thing in the world to do anymore. No, no, no. these rebels so high oh shit definitely just glob charging here fire at the damn general. I gotta just charge the archers, no point in shooting them out with them. But I can finish that guy off there. Okay, nice, their uh, general is dead. Or their catapults are dead, I should say. Soon will their general be. <sighs> Just laying it on with the arrows right there. Just got the glob coming in. Da 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 da. Charge! <laughs> this looks like without the thing. Jesus, the column's streaming in. Goes all the way back. Got dudes charging over here. General's dead. Matter of time before their scooter toy flee. We will gladly end the battle. Decisive victory. Get rid of that rebellion. Just get out of here. Definitely not coming out unscathed, though. Might slow down our conquest of Italy a little bit. I only wanted to. I probably still should have only taken two stacks in there. So I don't think I'm going to be able to. Um, wipe out the Lombard forces, or the remnants of the forces that I just um, killed in that first battle. I guess we'll replenish a little bit, maybe that'll help us out. But they did not die. Continue down with Elac, get him some more, uh, 
more influence levels. Nice. Can we still get him back? Nice. Get him back in there so we can replenish some. Uh, we can definitely not worry about carrying over all of these. We will combine two of our horse masters, or three into two, I should say. To spend here, you know, just because we're on the offensive doesn't mean we ne necessarily need to waste money. So we've got have seven thousand income next turn, guys. All those turns of just building is definitely paying off. I think going into battle with like really injured troops too will definitely hurt your uh, chances of winning that battle. Yeah, we're just gonna group it up. Just group it up. Have two people that can reinforce. And we will actually bring our general over here to improve the recruitment. So we do have another army here. I'm trying to remember exactly what I was going to do with this. God, that's scary up there. It's definitely scary. I was trying to train up a little bit more. I can commit a little bit. A little bit bigger garrison here, for sure. And actually, upgrading Regensburg will definitely improve my chances of holding it. So what I'm going to do actually is instead of staying in Augsburg, I'm going to hit Regensburg and then train. I might, I might, who knows, I might hop in, you know, stuff's going well in Italy here. I don't want to leave Bohemia hanging out to dry. Having them up here as just a close and loyal ally would be perfect for me. Let's take a look here. 54 friendship, that's it. Good and noble friend, what an honor you do us. Come speak so that the spirits can hear your words. Does want a daughter. I still want to marry her off though, so we're going to say no to that. It's in process. Actually, did I? Is there anyone else? Brittany, they still won't trade with me. I tried a couple turns ago. Oh, now we need to upgrade Elac here. Munitions for missile infantry. I don't know if that counts. Yeah, that definitely doesn't count. Um, so we're gonna upgrade missile damage. Recruits? No, we don't want that. We want charge bonus and charge bonus. Or no, we want cavalry recruits and charge bonus. That's what we want. Though we can't recruit anyone here, we will in the future. We've got bow movement speed, that's good. And we have. So we're gonna have like. We're gonna be training like double silver chevrons with that guy. You can see their forces are considerably um, injured. Now, where. Will their reinforcements be coming from? Is the question because they're not just going to let me roll into Italy. You know, I got to put up a little bit of a fight. So they do have another full stack from there. You see that dealing with that rebellion. I think in hindsight, I should have left one um, one stack as a garrison in Venezia, and then just crushed these three armies because that would have gotten rid of the bigger threat. I kind of went for the lesser threat and it was a little bit lazy of me. Um, but who knows, you know, it might not be that big of a deal. In the meantime, let's see, the Croatia is fully built. We still do not have a threat trying to come in. I'm actually going to dock them so they can slowly heal as these guys are. So I have a lot of build gold. Um, the food consumption is the issue that I've had. 
However, there's a couple things that I can build. Ooh, let's get that to upgrade our food a bit. And we'll actually get a Master Goldsmith here. How's our Squalor looking? So it gives us equal Squalor. Um, which we're fine with that, really. I think we can probably turn... What's our religion looking like up here? Tangriism is at 56%. We'll keep those guys up there a little bit longer. Decimate their dangerously low integrity. How dare you guys. Well. Oh, we have two forces coming up from the south. I hope that I can retreat on this. Thank God they changed it away from just being ambushed, guaranteed every time. So the Lombards, aside from me, t like, like I just spent two, five minutes there talking about how I'm going to finish them off, and here I am retreating to a full-on Lombard offensive. They are counterattacking my attack, and this was just fucking stupid here. This is Brava. God, it's not one of my children. But... God, why did he retreat that? I wish there was some way that you could control which way you retreated. I mean, I know it's a bit much to ask, but even... even those times there's organized retreat. I'm not gonna fight this slugfest. This is guaranteed death. We'll see how many I can take with me. Probably should have gone aggressive there to get as many casualties as possible. 260, huh? That probably wasn't enough. Good thing we're training that other army, by the way. Although I think I'd skip this turn of doing it, ironically enough. Actually, it probably wasn't ironic at all. We've got some agent issues here, but I'm just going to live with it. So I don't really want to commit too much to dealing with that issue. Hostile agent activity. My army has been harassed. Rave was killed in battle. War weirdness has increased. I will decree that that marriage takes place. Get in here, buddy. Damn, still no. This guy just got in. Get up in there. Promote you to Grand Despoiler. Oh, and there's Rava. That's why it went down. So there's Rava. Damn. And, and so that was a blow right there, losing losing Rava. That was a blow indeed. Uh, which means that we're gonna have to slightly pull back. I think. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna garrison. We're going to garrison an army with a moderately full HP general. Do I want to commit my heir to this? This is a tier 2 city, huh? Let's do it. We're not, we're not getting pushed back. This isn't happening. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. You'll garrison our faction heir, son and faction heir. We have the utmost trust in our defenses with in the city. We can move them out of here in a minute. Oh shit, did I just. Yeah, I just did that. I'll start with you guys. Air's got 12, so I got room for 8 more. This is the 8 I want. It's a pretty gnarly defense force. I mean, those archers are just going to shred apart anyone who decides to come in here. Okay, so now that we've had our 
you know, organize retreat, what have you. Get stuff with the ELAC here. Oh, god damn it. Okay, now it worked. Now, how far across can they get? So I'm going to keep ELAC there to respond. I'm going to train up some more forces. And I'm going to move this army up and ready to assist. I need some more Lancers. That's definitely... A God, look at that triple chevron. Blue guys. Look at some more tribesmen. This will be a very, very advanced fighting force compared to what I have here. Um, we can actually upgrade our priest here. Give him some spread religion. What are we looking at here, by the way? Got a long, 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 long way to go. They do have Italian separatist issues to deal with. It's good to know. I think this is all they have. So that was like their last, like, big push, and they they've got some other stuff training up over here something to keep an eye on but if I can get these forces up here so not next turn but the turn after and counterattack with you know pretty pretty powerful punch here these limey gets over here is another thing okay now Augsburg's got my copper mine that's money that I don't want to give away but I don't think I can leave Regensburg. However, I do most certainly need to build up my forces here until I have a full 20 stack. Because anytime those guys start peeking around like that, that means trouble. Okay, we're getting more food here, so I think I'm going to probably upgrade one of these guys. I want to go. Let's go market town. I've heard people say that's never really worth it to get a manorial court. I don't know if I agree with that, but you know, it is what it is. These guys are still staying back. They're fucking scared. So I'm basically protecting everything, forcing everyone in here for the cost of a grand total of 1,200 gold, essentially. 1,150. And so that f that's f that's why they have to go up here and hit Venezia. That's why I can just sit here and garrison it, because they can't really go anywhere else. Yep. Dangerously low integrity, bro. End the turn. We haven't spent all of our money, but there's nothing really else that we can do. They've got three right. Okay, so um, Charlemagne is definitely <laughs> flexing his muscles, to say the least, because I am starting to get really scared seeing that going on. I want to maybe put this... Lombard situation to an end? I wonder if they'll take peace with me. Because I don't think I can fight the Lombards in, the, in Charlemagne by myself. Because it looks like Bohemia's getting freaking wrecked. So he might not be around forever. Italian separatists, natural causes. What? So they did get married. Oh, and so she left the... She left the family. And the governor I married her to... Died! Jeez, oh man. Faction politics are just not going my way in this one. Right. For 
Hmm. So they moved somewhere. Okay, they just moved back a little bit. So I can't go full gung ho on them. They're definitely getting reinforcements up pretty darn quickly. Um. I'm thinking right now how much I want to commit to actually killing the Lombards. See, there's definitely multiple crossings here, so I would need a full army here and a full army of Venezia to defend the south. But that's not necessarily terrible, and it would give me a full province. So I think I might actually go for it. I mean, these guys are coming up to the point where... Oh! We need to make sure that we do it. Yeah, sorry, I just got distracted and realized that this is the turn that we finished our research. So in six turns, we're going to be able to get the Avar Noble Lancers and the Avar Noble Swordsmen. Those swordsmen are, like, what I'm looking for. Because I think those are, like, my only real, like, melee troops. And it'll, and it'll help a lot in these siege fights. So actually, while well, I'm at the, at the drawing board here, Hmm, yeah, let's go cavalry games. So we're gonna strike back out. I ain't no person who gives up. Shit. I wonder, since they're out of their fortify, yeah, I can just be a nice little skirmish to do, I think, but I'm not going to do it. Actually, I probably one does where a lot of uh, swords or uh, cavalry units in themselves. War awareness has decreased back down, that's what I like to see. And I'm actually going to counter push up with my air. And we will get revenge. Oh. Backing off. We're gonna get revenge though for that, uh, for that, uh, what do you call it? The stack that they just killed. I was gonna say, I didn't wanna fight that one. I could have fought it. Probably been pretty cool. I like those huge fights on the field, but didn't need to. They are in reinforcement range of each other. We'll occupy Venezia. Hmm. So I'll train them in this army. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Yeah, just get four onagers out there. So we're just going to go basically ham, getting uh, getting um, armies up here. I need at least two full stacks up here in order to counter any Frankish threat that were to arise, should they declare war on me. God, I can't need food though. I absolutely need food. I need growth. I need to grow into my next building so I can make it food keep growing. I think I went industrial a little bit too early. Jeez, oh man, are these guys like... definitely not armored swordsmen? Oh man. Well... Do I need to create another army down bottom? Not yet. I think I can. I can move these guys up force march since they're not um, training anyone and still sign a provincial governor. Ah, so he was back in Pannonia. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put him in Friuli, both because I think it's gonna be a more profitable province. Um. 
Or no, if he's tax rate. If he's tax rate, I'm going in Pannonia. Let's actually see. Pannonia's 1800, Feely's 1800, and I don't even have it fully. Yeah, see, Jesus, look at this. Imports food, imports food, imports food. Need those three to grow in order to stop importing food. Moravia is just balling in it, yo. And they're about to upgrade again. But it's got stable food. Okay, whatever. Let's stop looking at that. Um, govern province. Let's get the growth going again. Oh my god. It's taking forever to grow. Um, we got low integrity. Low integrity. And low integrity. Go, baby, go. So it looks like they're just trying to reinforce. But if I can help my dogs out in Bohemia, then I'm going to do it. Although I don't know. I might be able to catch those two stragglers and kind of, you know, split up their front at that point. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get more than those last two. Just because I want to make sure that I have enough troops trained in order to at least slow down any offensive that they might bring my way. So I don't know, their, their incursion into my lands like that has uh, made it so I'm not sure that I'm going to go full on for Italy, but rather try to hit Charlemagne instead. Alright, we will call the episode there. It's been a fun one. Got a couple of big fights, making some progress here. Um, so, thank you guys for watching, and uh, be back next time.